I work for IFBI, which is the international association that represents the record industry. Because of the importance of the future of the internet economy to the industry and the role that music will play in that future, hopefully, if things are handled well. My greatest fear is that we continue down a path where uh, people do not are not willing to pay for music, they do not see value in it, that they're willing to uh, actually compensate in some way, and that the result will be that the creativity of professional performers and musicians and also record producers will dry up out of lack of investment. The greatest hope is that we continue down another branch of the path where we're going today, which is that uh, we end up with a huge, just unimaginable diversity of different kinds of content available to consumers online. So you would have coexisting uh, user-generated content of various kinds in all of its full flowering and at the same time professionally produced uh, content of the type of quality that people are used to getting on CDs so that you end up with more and more choice and more and more diversity for consumers than you've ever had before. And the goal would be to make sure that we don't stunt one or the other along the way, but we end up with uh, the broadest and greatest possible uh, flowering of different options. The biggest issue, and I think the one that dwarfs everything else, is how to figure out how to monetize uh, the tremendously popular uh, um, content that consumers are enjoying getting. So there's no question that more people are listening to more music today than ever before, but the problem is very much of it is being enjoyed without any kind of compensation to the creators. And the question is, how do you change that? and how do you avoid that? Uh, and that's what we spend, what I spend certainly personally, a great deal of my time thinking about. Uh, what I was talking about at the conference was the absolute need for all of the businesses that participate in the value chain of distributing music to consumers, uh, the importance of them working together to find reasonable solutions that uh, produce a positive output for the consumer, but at the same time make sure that uh, you do get appropriate uh, recognition of the value of the music. I think the most important aspect is just making sure that uh, the con that the rights and the content are, are recognized and there can be many different ways to go about that. You know, I would not hold myself out as an expert in uh, governance going beyond that, but we need to make sure that the internet is a world where uh, legal rights are respected and understand that it's not a wild west as President Sarkozy said recently, but a place where our values and policies need to be reflected in a way that's appropriate. Yeah, do you have anything else you'd like to add about the conference and or what you stand for? No, I mean the conference is it's always very exciting to see people from so many different countries coming together and talking over the issues and uh, I'm always struck by how much similarity and perspective there is. Uh, of course, Korea is a country that has an unbelievably advanced uh, internet in terms of the broadband penetration, which I think is the greatest of anywhere in the world at this point. So it's a very appropriate place to come here for this meeting. No, I mean, the conference is, it's always very exciting to see people from so many different countries coming together and talking over the issues. And uh, I'm always struck by how much similarity and perspective there is. Uh, of course, Korea is a country that has an unbelievably advanced uh, internet in terms of the broadband penetration, which I think is the greatest of anywhere in the world at this point. So it's a very appropriate place to come here for this meeting. I, well, certainly in the business stakeholders meeting, which was what uh, I've been participating in today, there's a general belief that uh, consumers lead the way in terms of having the new ideas, seeing what the trends are, deciding what it is that they want, that business needs to follow consumers and offer them 
what they want, and then that governments have to work with businesses to make that happen. Uh, so I think there's an understanding of that. I think there's also a general understanding that there needs to be some raw rule of law uh, in this new world, but that we don't want heavy-handed regulation of the Internet at the same time. I just want to make sure that we get the message out that as uh, people start to talk about the infrastructure of the internet, about convergence, about making sure that broadband, uh, that there's enough broadband to satisfy all the desires of consumers, uh, that the goals of technological development and getting as much content as quickly and smoothly to consumers as possible uh, doesn't overshadow the need to also uh, make sure that the content is valued and respected. And sometimes there's a fear that if you don't, that that case may be overlooked, that people may focus so much on the infrastructure that they sometimes forget uh, what is absolutely necessary in order to incentivize the further creation of content. Because there's a lot of content out there today that's being disseminated, but we need to make sure that there will be also a lot of content tomorrow of equal quality. Diverse choice or something like that.